Well, good evening or good morning, YouTubers. What is going on? How y'all's doing? Today is February 29th. That's right, it's leap year. This is my once every four year vlog. <laughs> kidding. Well, no, I'm not kidding. I try to do a vlog on leap year because it's a special day. And I uh, thought I'd show off some uh, some art supplies and stuff I just picked up recently and a little, little progress update on my closet. Try to contain your enthusiasm, you know. <laughs> no updates, life goes on. Anyway, show you some things I got here. I decided to pick up some, these are Walmart brand uh, soft pastels. I've got oil pastels, I don't have any soft pastels, so I picked up a little cheap set to play around with, try to learn something new. A good selection of colors there. And of course I picked up something I've always wanted never had and found them dirt cheap at Walmart. A mannequin. Now what do you do with a mannequin you might ask? Or, or an artist mannequin? Well I'll tell you. And first of all I'm going to unbox them. Uh, put that right there. <laughs> oh, what a great view of my leg. Huh? Hi. <laughs> Unbox them real quick. I have no idea if you can see me or not, so bear with me. What you do with a mannequin, an artist mannequin, is you put them in different poses, and that's your reference for drawing the basic human form. Because if you can tell, the joints are spherical, or close to spherical, and the arms are just real general shapes. Another sphere, and then a big one right there, <laughs> ladies, etc. And the hands are just like, it's like mittens. Yeah, he's made out of wood, kind of, I mean, things like six bucks, you can't, too much, but he's got a little thing on his face there, where there's like dents on the other side that gives you a center line for the face, and there's a little notch center line for the chest. But basically, you can put it in different poses, and you can make him look like he's running. Oops. I try not to hyperextend his knees. <laughs> or you can put his hand up. Hand, like oh, put his hand over his eyes looking at something. They're just completely posable. I just noticed he's got screws in him in his joints there. Started wondering if I had another one of these to experiment with. And a canine mannequin. If the back legs of the canine mannequin are a, a digitigrade, as they say, if you like a, like a real dog, they they walk on their t they walk on their toes instead of their heels. <clears throat> if I could combine the the K91 with this guy, if it had the screws in, and, and make an anthro, an anthro anthropomorphic uh, mannequin for uh, furry art reference. Hmm. Depends what the, the the K9 head looks like. I might be able to. Well, I don't know about that. I'm not sure how the head attaches, but might have something to do with the pole down the center there. It's a really terrible place to stick that metal rod. <laughs> but that's just a thought for later. <coughs> Yeah, see, it shows different poses here that you can do with him. And yeah, it says, a mannequin is a useful tool for learning to draw the human figure. Yeah. So, now I got one. They got different sizes and, and uh, stuff like that. And they also have canine. They got left and right hands. So those are cool, but they're not cheap. <laughs> I think they have a, fi a female form, too. I don't know. This might just might be generic enough that you could do both. Anyway, I also picked up... <coughs> This Coronur or Coanur lead holder it takes a 5.6 millimeter lead, and that's these right here. These things appear to my thumb. These things are huge. There are six of them in here, but it'll last forever and a day. I've always, I've always wanted one of these. I saw a, a, a gentleman doing a video as an animation, a, a traditional animation demo, and apparently he was like a retired Disney. Uh, Animator and he had one of these on his was wood case one of the older style Oops, I need to get something here. Oh. Oh. And uh, I saw this oh, I want one, you know, those are neat it took me a long time That was I don't know how many years ago. I saw it, but I finally got a hold of one I am not gonna worry about wood case if I can find a wood case one that's relatively inexpensive online I'd get it, but <laughs> haven't seen that yet So and I picked up 
really cool mechanical pencil here. You know, if you can read that, it's a Pentel Graph Gear 1000 0.3 millimeter lead, and it's a tiny little lead. Tips way in there. You know, see, there's the, the tip. You almost can't see it there, but but uh, yeah, I, w I wanted something with the tiniest little lead, and I picked that up, and I picked up a. Uh, See one of these is yeah I picked up an HB thing online also I got I got both these on Amazon this is B I found this in my local art supply and of course I got a thing of erasers for found those on Amazon as well pretty inexpensive this pencil's usually not cheap but I found a good deal on it matter of fact I'm gonna put these in here somewhere they're gonna fit in here by any chance oh they do ooh goody yeah. Perfect. I got this little divider. I bought this originally for my uh, uh, dip pens. I got because I found this this on eBay and it fits my dip pens perfectly. A little interesting little lid, here, little latch here. And my dip pens. This red thing is uh, some deer leather scrap that I've had forever. Made use of it, but yeah, fits my dip pens handles and the nibs perfectly. So. <laughs> latches a little loose with these ancient and of course I picked up a art gum eraser you know, I always get a couple of these when I go to the art store you never have too many go through them like crazy especially since I'm learning <laughs> and these I found earlier I found these on uh now these are a thrift store in town they're like a quarter a piece you know, never have too many rulers and measuring devices etc and something else I'd always wanted let me show you these these are uh, glasses, straps, these little rubber things that go over the earpiece and hold them on your ear, but the straps work better. Because when I'm hunched over drawing, my glasses slide down my nose. And a lot of things I do, they slide down my nose, so I got these to put on there while I'm, while I'm arting and stuff, so they don't, so they start sliding them out and I'm out of, uh, get out of focus. And of course, I picked up this on eBay. I've always wanted one of these. It's a flexible curve. It's a two foot long one. You can, you <laughs> know. Bend it pretty much any way you want. So there's, there's no shame in using a a ruler or a curve. I got a bunch of little bitty French curves in my artsy boxes over there. So that was my art haul. I thought I'd show that off real briefly. There, I'm gonna stick that eraser in here. And I'm gonna leave those leads and those pencils out. Then go back over here. Uh, hang on. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I almost forgot. Pick up this this little drawing, this little uh, sketch pad, sketchbook. It's pretty cool. I like I like little bitty sketch pads. You know, got this Walmart for like two bucks, three bucks, something like that. But yeah, I'm gonna get some more next time I go. And I have also have these little bitty. I think about five of these. Weren't too easy to find, but I'm sure I can find them again. Uh, excuse me. Make them portable. Put some things back here. And I'm going to give you a little update on the closet project. Uh, uh, whoops. Hey, I'll do that. Okay, and uh, forgive me, it's a little dark in the closet because... The light fixture and or the switch went out, so... Ooh, it's dark in here. Hang on. Got a, uh, I got one of those lights hanging there, and I got one of these. Oops. Not to blind you. Those little handheld things. But, let me step out of here. As you can see, I have some room now. A little bit. This is the next phase. I got rid of a bunch of stuff, and I moved stuff around, and... I got enough floor, floor, blah, 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 floor space that I can actually walk, step in here and go through these bins if I need to. And, which is a good step. Of course, a couple of laptops there. But that's just the next, that was just the second phase of multi-phase going through and figuring out what's going on in my little guitar. And I still got some stuff on the floor, but I'm making progress. And put that down here. I got some floor space. I'm going to make more floor space. Those uh, ammo boxes are full of my... Uh, camera equipment and attachments, accessories, etc. <coughs> a giant Ziploc bag full of batteries there. <coughs> so 
so I got you know more I'm going to do <clears throat> not not necessarily reorganize but get rid of more stuff like all the stuff leaning on the wall over here that's my green screen by the way it's in a bag I'm gonna hopefully hang it on the wall back there <clears throat> so I guess I got mountains of Star Wars stuff over here but yeah that's just the next step I'm able to walk in my closet and go through these bins and so that's a step in the right direction so let me put the lights out I think it's kind of cool. You just kind of grab the. I gotta hold on to this because it'll fall off. And click. <laughs> it's like a portable light bulb. Good night, Jar Jar. <laughs> and that's about it for this vlog. I just want to do a little brief uh, leap year vlog. And I will leave it at that. Remember, thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Remember, I accept all constructive criticism unless you're a troll. <laughs> Excuse me. I accept all constructive criticism, but I don't acknowledge trolls unless you're a helpful troll. Check out my other uh, so socials down in the description below. and Like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, YouTubers. Four years from now, I'll see you. <laughs>